I'm a lucky one. I make a living fishing. I was born only about an hour from right here. And so this, this is really home. Uh, we're in Tennessee. I'm from Western North Carolina. And uh, my guiding career started right here on this river. And there's a lot of nostalgia in coming home. And it, it's that much better when you have more perspective. And so the travel and seeing all these other things in more ways uh, makes me more appreciative and, and more respectful and enjoy more kind of all this wonderful stuff that we have you know, here close to home. What I really love about the traveling, traveling to fish, is the adventure, and you're almost always problem solving. You never have all the information, you have to be prepared. You know, you're there and you're figuring it out on the fly. And more importantly is the experience becomes much larger than just the fishing. It is the adventure, it is the place, it is uh, the unknown and it's the people and, and the fishing is part of it and for me it's the thread that ties all that together. You know one of the things I think about in fishing is every day you go fishing it's like reading a book and that book gets filed away in your library. So the more time you spend out there the more books you've read and the more material you have to pull from for the next day. And so every day you're getting out here and you're trying to solve the problem. And you can only work off the knowledge base you have. So the more books you've read, the more time you spend on the water, the easier it is to solve that problem. You know, at this point in my life, man, I've spent most of it fishing. And so I've got a pretty expansive library in my head of fishing days. Every day you go and step out and you're just looking at what you're given, you know, water level, water clarity, temperature, water temperature relative to air temperature, insects on the water, insects in the water. And you use all of this to, to troubleshoot and figure it out. Trout fundamentally are simple creatures, right? They, they do two things, man, they reproduce and they eat. Right? and they have to do these things. When you get outsmarted by these you know, very small brain things, it can be really humbling, but it's also encouraging because there's a puzzle there to crack, right? They have to do these things, and so we should be able to figure it out you know, over a period of time. Being a fishing guide is a really interesting path in life and, and so much more of it is, is beyond helping people catch fish. Small amount of time you spend together, you get to be really close. I mean, a lot of the things that are shared, whether it's in a drift boat or in a kayak or in a flats boat, and as you're together, it's a really small, intimate space. And uh, you know, you're you're part counsel, and uh, you know, you're part shoulder to cry on, and part you know, buddy to celebrate with. One of the things that comes from this are really lifelong relationships. And you watch these people travel through life, you know, the ups and the downs, you know, success in business, success in life. And also the struggles and failure and, and fishing is usually escape from all of that. You know, the good and the bad, it kind of lets people get recentered and helps them get back home.
but there's something very primal and innate about you know, connecting to a wild animal on a piece of line. People protect what they love, right? And if they don't participate, they're never gonna love it like I do.